下，哗、呃，下，下，下。Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a second, but I'm so glad to be here with you all once again. As always, I want to know your mother flippin' thoughts. So put them down below. Let me know what you think about this video, the topic. Your experiences, and if you liked it, like it. <laughs> Muchas gracias, mi amigos, mis amigos. All right, this channel is related to all things queer, and a little humor to dazzle your day. I am Ray Lars. I'm an actor, a director, a content creator, a yoga instructor, a dog mom, a kombucha enthusiast. And a nature freak <laughs> that I've introduced myself. Please tell me more about you in the comments down below, and subscribe, please. Free, I might add, for you, you little lucky gem. Today's topic is on the different types of attractions. For a highly requested video, I'm still learning, of course, and I just want to put that out there and just. Say, this is based off the research I've done and my own experience. And amidst the confusing feelings and thoughts you may be having in regards to defining your sexuality, I hope that this can help in some way. And if you're just curious, maybe you already know what you are. You just kind of want to know more for the sake of others. Then thank you for being here as well. For that reason, let's just dive in. Let's begin with the typical. Types of attractions that we all know, the predominant sexuality of society, heterosexual. Then we have homosexual. Then we have pansexual or bisexual, queer. Okay. I assume if you're here, you do not need me to define the previously stated things. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, beautiful baby, because you don't need it. Dust off your shoulders, and if you do need it, well, maybe just do a quick little Google search. And I just want to add a little tidbit for your day. As hard as it is sometimes, forgive yourself for not living up to the expectations you set for yourself in your mind, because the mind is tricky, and often the high expectations that we realistically cannot meet. Oftentimes, leave us feeling inadequate. Therapy's good. Just saying. Let's dive a little deeper now, shall we? Have you ever heard of the term homo romantic? So now, obviously, homosexual. If you're a girl, you want to sex with a girl. Okay. Yeah. Basic. We get it. And if you're homo romantic, that means you're romantically attracted to. And typically, when you think of a homosexual, you think that they are homosexual and homoromantic. And for probably most, that's the case. For me, that's the case. I am homosexual and homoromantic. The word homosexual, I think of like church, you know, those homosexuals. But I'm just like the scientific definition, you know. But here's the kicker: you can be homosexual and panromantic. Now let's break this down a little bit. Pansexual is being able to be sexually attracted to all and any gender. And so, if you're panromantic, then then you have the capacity to be romantically interested in in your all genders. Or if you're homosexual and biromantic, for example, you could potentially be romantically just like want to engage in romantic esque relationships with both men and women, but you only want to have sex with women. Or you can be biromantic but heterosexual, you know,、um, and that's a totally different thing entirely. 
this kind of like goes back into the basics. I know that there's a lot that we can like go into here, but for the sake of today's video, we're just gonna give you the basics. Now, let's go deeper still to discuss the non-sexual types of attraction as well, because there is physical attraction. And this could not just mean, this is not just sexual, it could be sexual. Like if you were physically attracted to someone, you could also be sexually attracted to them as well, but you don't have to be. It, it's like if you have a friend and you want to give them a hug, or like hold their hand for a second, or just like give them a kiss on the cheek, or whatever you do with your friends like and family. You know, you can have a physical, like you want to touch them, but obviously it's not sexual in nature. And then there's aesthetic attraction meaning you're attracted to someone's physical being. Maybe, like for example, what got me confused in high school and early part of college was mistakenly thinking aesthetic attraction was sexual attraction. It wasn't. This is where we get into the nitty gritty because it sounds like <clears throat> if you're homosexual and homoromantic, then you can't be hetero intellectual or pan intellectual I should say I would be pan intellectual I feel like most people are pan intellectual because they don't judge someone based off their gender whether or not they'd want to have a conversation with them but then again we get into bias and that's a whole other conversation so for example like you can be aesthetically attracted to someone and not sexually attracted to them or romantically attracted to them like I can recognize that Idris Elba is an attractive man. Do I want to have sex with him? Fuck no. Okay, the other type of attraction is emotional attraction. So you can experience this. I feel like most people experience emotional, aesthetic, physical, and intellectual attraction with probably any and all genders. But I'm not saying that there are some people who, for example, cannot experience physical attraction with females or with males, for example. Like that's possible. So you could, if you're a female, be like a homo physical attraction, if that's a thing. <laughs> oh, I'm using my own term to describe, but you get my point. So like this helps to kind of put things in perspective as well, because just because someone finds someone pretty, it doesn't mean they want to have sex with them. Yeah, I think the real thing here is to recognize that sexuality and romance are not inextricably linked they can be separate for some um, and there's a lot of gray area here of course like this is the English language we're using here to describe abstractions that's all and make sense of our experience and, and if any of these labels or examples like hit you home and you're just like oh wait a minute oh wait a minute yeah worth taking a look into, for sure. And I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. I truly am sending you so much love. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting this channel. Wow, it's been over a year actually since I've been on YouTube, which is kind of crazy to think. And I'm really happy with like, the souls that I've connected to since I've been on this platform and I you guys have helped me and I I know that I've helped you because of your comments and that, that means the world to me and I can want to continue to do that and in order to do so your support your likes your subscribes really keep this channel going and your comments letting me know what else you'd like to see because I'm here for you boo I'm here for you boo what you know you're good with me i said i'm here for you boo we work as a team to make shit happen educate the public on shit like queer stuff because the public needs to know this shit public doesn't know this shit enough hey on queer stuff hey educate on queer stuff i said get the kids their education teach them about queer stuff <laughs>